Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you a few features on how to manage a Microsoft Team group. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to show you, uh, one thing you may see that's different is we have a general uh, channel and a full-time faculty channel. Um, so you can add different channels. The default is the general channel um, and you add everybody into there. Uh, but then you can segregate out um, such as like the full-time faculty uh, channel here. And so how you would do that is under these more options, uh, the three dots here on the main group, you can go to add channel, right? So we could do uh, just faculty, right? If you just needed all faculty and uh, um, now you, you want this to be accessible to only specific group of people within the team, right? Um, so let's just, let's just do adjunct faculty. Um, so we'll click next. And then now it's gonna ask for who are our adjuncts, right? So if you knew, um, uh, well, right now I don't have any members, so I'm going to skip this. Um, but it creates a group, and at any time you can add members to that group, but you can only add members of the main group. I'll show you that if you go under the more options and manage the team. Right now I have no team members. Um, so what I could do is add members to the team. Right? Um, and then if I clicked add, they would join. I'm not gonna do that because these users would get emails and they wonder what's going on. Uh, but once I had members in this group, I could then add them into one of these two groups or, or channels here. Um, so you could have, you'd have everybody in your general group. And then once you have the general group, you create your channels and you can have your chunks and your full-time faculty or whatever channels or you can have uh, projects or things like that and you could segment seg segment them off the reason why you would do this is so if i go into the generals uh, channel and I, I have a file there um, so everybody in the group in in this group would see this any files that are are here um, but if i go to the adjunct faculty and go to files there's no files um, but only the members of the adjunct faculty would see the files here. So I could share files with just adjuncts or full-time faculty. I could go to their files and share files with just full-time faculty so that if, you, if there's a reason to, to uh, um, keep them separate. And uh, so then other, other things that we can do under the management, uh, you can get some analytics you know, how many people have used this, uh, what kind of apps um, have been used or are available. Um, but for the most part, what you probably want to do is, you know, add the members. And then if you create and manage different channels, um, you'll have to manage uh, the channels. Uh, you can, you know, get email addresses of everybody um, e easily. So if you had all your full-time faculty um, in this channel, um, you just click this link and it would give you all of their email addresses and you can copy them and, and put that into an email immediately. So it would just make it easy um, to email them. Um, and then, uh, let's see here, uh, well, you can manage the channels, they, you know, just like you can manage the main group. Um, oh, the roles. So um, you can make anybody an owner. You have either a member they're either a member of the channel or group or an owner. Uh, owners have the ability to add other members or, or change permissions um, on things. Um, and that is just the basics on managing uh, Microsoft Teams.